discrete math tutorial. In this tutorial, I thought we'd just touch on some basic logic gates. So logic gates are used in logic circuits. A logic circuit receives an input signal and produces an output signal. So let's look at some basic logic gates and we'll see if we can produce a somewhat easy an example right here. So we have this logic gate, which is an inverter. And all it does, it receives P and it produces not P. In an OR gate, there are two input signals, P and Q, and once they go through the OR gate, it produces P or Q. So P or Q will come out right there. In an AND gate, P and Q are inputted, and P and Q is outputted. If we look at, and we want to construct P and not Q or not R, the way I like to do this is basically just work backwards. See if I can do this. I'll draw out my arrow right there. I'll write P and not Q or not R. I see this OR symbol, so I know it's going to be an OR gate. So let's go ahead and draw out the OR gate. So now we have two inputs. So one input is going to be the P and not Q, and the other one is going to be the not R. So the easiest way to get that not R is by doing the inverter and supplying that with an R. For P and not Q, well, there's the AND symbol, so that's an AND gate. So there will be two input signals. One will be P, and the other one will be not Q. Well, how do we get not Q? Again, let's go ahead and create an inverter. And uh, let's supply it with Q. So if we run through it from here to the end, P and Q, Q goes through the inverter, produces the not Q. P comes here to the end gate with the not Q, merges it to P and not Q, and they go to OR gate. Right here, we have R, there's the inverter, produces not R, goes to the OR gate, which produces P and not Q, or not R. Pretty simple and straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on basic logic gates. And make sure to subscribe for your daily discrete math tutorials.